Hello, welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Rudolph Okonkwo. We are continuing our discussion on the Boko Haram threat on Nigerian media. The Nation newspaper was not only mentioned in the warning issued by Boko Haram. The terrorist group actually called the newspaper. The man who took the call is with us here via Skype. Mr. Soji Omotunde is the General Manager of Training and Development at the Nation. Mr. Omotunde, welcome to Sahara TV. How are you doing? Good. Um, we understand that um, uh, you spoke to Boko Haram when they called the nation. Can you please let our viewers know what was the discussion about? What happened? How did that happen? Uh, just, um, just two days ago, Thursday at about 8.30 p.m., I just had a call. And he told me uh, it's on behalf of uh, Boko Haram. Uh, first, he told me that uh, the media, media must be very careful uh, and that they might see make more attacks. I don't know why. He said because um, they are doing this, they are doing, doing we, the media is supporting them, it's not really right. And uh, I just told the person who called that, of course, we can only report what we know and what we see or what we, you know, so I'll just explain what is happening. Uh, he just said we should just sit down and uh, question our colleagues uh, so that uh, they don't do more of the attack. And that uh, um, if possible, they might even come down to Lagos. Uh, they might even come down to Lagos and uh, begin the attack there. So he now suggested that uh, uh, I now told him that uh, at least we need to know what they really want. That um, the way people are killed, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not pleasant. You know, some people. Dying, and uh, he just said, Well, not that I don't like it too, but that uh, the president actually knows where the desire uh, is. I say, oh, well, but the people don't know, we don't know what they really need. So he now suggested that see if uh, there could be uh, a television interaction, a phone number, where they can talk, uh, you know, and tell people really uh, that we know exactly what they, require, what they need, or what their request is. So I said, we need, they need to let the people know that um, at least they um, got to stop this EU because it's not happening with the nation. So that was just uh, what we said. Uh, now, later, passing on, he said it all. And he said the same thing, too. All right. So, so what, what did the management the of the nation do after the conversation, when you reported the conversation? Uh, we don't, we didn't do anything. We didn't bother to do anything. However, that's just... Uh, why? Because uh, there was nothing we could have done anyway. I uh, only mentioned the argument that we had a call. Uh, apparently, because there was the, 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 the number did not show up, so that we couldn't even really call back. Uh, it, was, uh, it was impossible for us to uh, make a return call. Because now it's showing. So what about the mood that you are people Are people going about their duties? Or are you making changes with how things are operated, especially in the north? Uh, well, yes, we are doing. We are, we are not. We are, we, since we are doing what we are supposed to do, we are not. Uh, we are not intimidated. We are not uh, scared. Uh, we know we, because we have a responsibility for the society. And uh, that's just our basic duty to really do things the way it should be done. So as much as we are doing our job, the way we should do it, which I don't think we should be scared of anything. But we're only hoping that that should be the whole uh, thing should be resolved. It should be resolved. Because it's not helping the nation, it's not helping the people. And the different souls are just, uh, uh, you know, wasted. So, yeah, I told you, going on there. That is going on. We are not intimidated, really. I mean, uh, by any church. There was a report in the paper that uh, the government is uh, talking about providing uh, security for the media. Uh, is, is anything like that going on, or is it just one of those uh, speeches? Uh, well, the, actually, the responsibility of government to protect, uh, to provide protection for the entire citizen only, not just the media. Because you never can know where, where next we will strike. I mean, I mean, media needs protection. Every other citizen in Nigeria needs protection as well. So uh, we will just wish that there will be protection for every 
from whatever Nigerian people are in the country, they are in nations. So it's not just the media, it's not just the media protection. Uh, because um, sometimes of those bombs, I mean, indiscriminate bombing, discriminate explosions or shooting happens, uh, it doesn't really affect the media or the target audience alone. Uh, so it's better that it be, 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 be. the full protection is made for all so that it can protect the entire citizenry against this kind of uh, 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 terrorism that's happening now. Some, some, some reports also said that uh, media houses in the north are taking down their signs. Is, is the nation taking down its signs uh, uh, on buildings in the north, or is it there? Taking down town or what? Yeah, yeah the, the billboard, the signs that says the nation, or there are some media houses are taking down their signs so that... I can't, I can't, I can't hear that. Sorry? I can't hear no, yeah. there was this report that some media houses are bringing down the signs on buildings so that their buildings will not be able to uh, be identified by Boko Haram in the north. Oh. Uh, is, is the nation doing anything? Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, 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 can, I don't know the kind. The individual organization like this must have their own form of protection. I mean, there's no organization, no company that will just leave its own as long as it's open. So I don't know exactly the kind of... Uh, uh, thing that other media houses are doing, mm. uh, but at least I know that the the Nigerian news, the newspaper uh, proprietors association uh, had a meeting in uh, Abuja, at least to really discuss this uh, security thing about you know on the media. There's a discussion going on in Abuja today, right? So that the association so, until so, that meeting so uh, we can have the outcome of what. Uh, yeah, if somebody wants to come into yeah. the, the nation newspaper, the office in Lagos, uh, is there any new measure put in place to pre check and search someone coming into the premises of the... Of we, are work, we, are work, we, are, we are working We are working on that. We are working on that. Because we have our own security people there normally. They are there. Mm -hmm. So but we are working on that, right? Okay. We are working on that. At least we have to ensure that we secure people who come in to do this thing with us. Uh, we have to really ensure... Clarity of uh, staff as well. So that one has been armed. So, as, as but, uh, like I say, yeah. after after today's yes, after today's meeting of the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria (NPAN) in Abuja, maybe there will be a measure that can be made public. There will be, yes, I don't know, until that meeting is over now. Right. Okay. As as the general manager of training, uh, are you uh, designing any kind of training for your reporters, especially those in the north, on how to survive under this threat, or are they going to continue to do business as usual? Well, that was, uh, general, 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 we do that kind of protective training. We do that. Uh, like, uh, general, like in our organization, uh, we had uh, induction as to maybe fire, what people you do, what you had way go about that. We do that, but we don't have to really, I believe that it should, I mean, just tighten up. If they are focusing on the media, we need to tighten up security. That's just it. And uh, there will be measures that will be taken. And there will be things that will be made, made, that will be made public, really, if we really not want to uh, have something to protect you. But I can assure that there will be measures. Okay. Right. You are aware that they mentioned Sahara reporters on, on their video. Now, um, we, we want to assume that, that Boko Haram is watching. If you had the chance to return that phone call, what were you going to tell them? Can you just talk to them in, with the assumption that they are listening? What were you going to say to Boko Haram? No, uh, because, well, personally now, I personally I could just counsel them that all these things are happening may not be in the interest of the nation. Uh, if you if really are Nigerian and you love the nation, if you love the people, you know, there's no need, there's no need waste life. There's no need uh, to stop the peace of the nation. There can be progress. Uh, you must really love the nation, I mean, where God has placed you as a citizen. And uh, if you have the main thing that you, that is, you know, that you want from anybody, let's, I mean, that could be discussion, that could be, you know, table list. Not just going to die of action and killing innocent people. So that could have been a personal cancer, right? It's not necessary, right? But people are saying that, well, depending on what the aim or what the motive of the whole attack is, if it's political, political is that they will solve. 
uh, information is disrupted and everything is cut. I mean, even those are in their political position, we not get any more of it. So it's better to really allow people in, in the society. If there are easy, I mean, you cannot even say you are doing things, even religion, God will not allow life to be wasted, to be killed, just anyhow. So uh, one has really have to really counsel people that uh, uh, what, what will be the, what will be the what will be the end of all these activities? Of all these activities? I mean, whatever you are doing, have a purpose. Must have a uh, a thing that you are heading towards. So how do you achieve your end if you are just destruct, destructing and destroying uh, lives? So that kind of thing. That that maybe there could be a better way of resolving uh, uh, even their differences. Not no 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 not going through. Driving, suicide, bombing, and people just, even those who are meeting the bombing, they are killing themselves. I mean, I don't see any sense in that. So, uh, I can just personally answer them. Then, you know, you may let people know what exactly what they want. If they are credit those things, people will support those things that are, if they are valuing to the, to, 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 the, to the entire uh, nation, to the community, to the people, right? I mean, <laughs> That's it. I think we should be interested in progress of the nation, in the development of the nation, not in taking Nigeria back. Be based on what they just told you, yeah, based on what they told you, you they yeah. said that uh, the president should be aware of what they want. Do you think that the president knows uh, what they want? That's what they said. They know, you know, well, I believe the president should even know what they want. Oh, because we have security agencies. What is exactly what are they? What are, what, are, what are the purpose of all these uh, things that we are experiencing? Right? If they are what they want, it seems like a be nuclear. And personally, I don't believe. I mean, there are people that are behind all these actions, all these activities. It might not just be those people being arrested, those being arrested are just uh, uh, tools in the hands of some, you know, powerful people. Right? If you know there must be a way of uh, coping with things, uh, a way of. Uh, I mean, if there's a need to do a dialoguing, whatever, I mean, it's in terms of the people of the nation. If the nation is so disrupted, I mean, how do you expect the people to come and invest in the nation like this? Uh, so, uh, in the interest of the nation, let them go to the front, go to the root of the matter. I believe that security agencies can go to the root of the matter and maybe basic people that are behind this and those are the people that should really be encountered, right? Those being used as bombers, are, you know, they might not even know the fundamentals. Of uh, of what's happening, right? So uh, I, I, I believe that God knows how to know much more than we, the people, know, because of the agencies who should be giving them the full reports. You know, let them investigate and know who are behind this, what is happening, what they really want. Now, uh, one right. final question. So, who is attending this meeting happening in Abuja for the nation? So uh, it's Mr. Kupata's uh, association, um, uh, MD should be there, so, so uh, right now. So you yeah. uh, expect that there will be... Normally, normally, in any part, there's a, there is a regular meeting of the association, okay. so uh, this one is just, um, you know... A kind of uh, well, I, I believe that there will be, there will, there will be a report of the meeting, you know, the after, after the meeting. All right, uh, Mr. Soji Omotunde, thank you so much for talking to Sahara TV. Thank you very much. We appreciate it very much. Uh, that was. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. That was right. thank, Mr. You. Omotunde. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Omotunde, uh, the general manager of training and development at the nation, talking to us about his conversation with Boko Haram members who called the newspaper office. Uh, when we continue, we are going to have our first round table when we are going to discuss all the issues, topical issues of today concerning Nigeria and Africa. Uh, we have special guests for the, for the segment, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. <laughs>